Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Paul Arasso. This video today, I'll be showing you on how to install Windows operating system to a computer. So if it's your first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, please remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to enable notifications. So the basic things you should know about the installation. The first thing is that the flash drive or the DVD drive must be bootable then the, you must identify the boot key of your computer in this case my boot key is F10 so I press F10 then here use the arrow keys to select the boot device so I'm using vendor so use the arrow keys then select the boot device then press enter then press if prompted to press any key to boot from the USB, just press any key. Now let's proceed with the installation. So Windows is loading files. So at this point, you now have to select the language to install, then the time and currency format, then the keyboard or input. So you can click this drop down arrow to select. So in my case, I'm just doing the English, then English United States, then the keyboard is US, then click on next. And this point, if you want to repair your computer, you click on repair. In my case, you just want to install, you just click on install. So guys, at this point, you now select the operating system that you want. As you can see, you have a uh, home basic, you have home premium, professional now here at times 86. This now the 32 bit times 64. This now 64 bit. So I select professional, this 64 bit, then click on next to proceed with the installation. So at this point, click on I agree. The terms then click next then if you want to upgrade click on upgrade but this now custom installation just click on custom here you choose the partition that you want to install the operating system so I choose partition 0 then press next then at this point the partition you selected might contain files so here you are the files that if you proceed to install the, the files should be stored in windows.all so you click on ok then this is now the installation that's all the information you need right now so the installation is continuing so wait until this finish then installing update then completing installation so you just have to be patient for your system and again at this point the, your system may be slow or faster depending on the capacity of your random access memory the type of processor maybe the Koi type Koi 5, Koi 7 and so on so again just be patient until it completes up to installing updates then completing installation then you can set the name of the PC then access the files in the windows.all folder so the same procedure happens the windows 8 windows 8.1 and this windows 10 though windows 8 and 8.1 are just garbage they are trial versions for windows 10 so just have to install windows 10 again during installation of the operating systems it now depends the capacity of your RAM and the processor so if you have you're having a computer with the 2 GB RAM with the low Koi so you have just have to install a low Windows operating system or even Kali Linux or other operating system that will be supported by a system so just wait until the process completes and then you now be successfully allowed to log into your system and access the details 
on the computer. So at this point, the installation is still in progress. So Windows activated setup. So we're now down with the four steps. Now at completing installation. So it should go by the saying patient space. So just be patient and wait for the installation to be complete. So guys, during installation of the operating system, you must have a stable power. That is maybe use of uh, the an interruptible power supply. That is the UPS. So in case that this this time you are installing, then from a desktop or even a laptop whose battery is, is faulty, then the power gets off. Then in times of blackouts, so you may be forced to restart the process again. So that's why you need a stable power supply. So at this time, I already am using the UPS. So my power is okay. And I can still go on for some time. So UPS now allows you to perform your functions even when the power is lost for a given period of time so guys after all that step so you are at this point you have to create the username then that will be the name of your pc so at this point you can just type your name or any name that you want so to me i'll type in my name i'm paul so i'll type in paul and my other name so that's my name so come down here then you click on next if you are using you don't have a mouse and you're using a desktop or even a laptop on the touchpad is spoiled so you just use the tab key click the tab key then at this point when it reaches to next then click on you have to press enter then at this point type your password if it's necessary so guys this is now my password and a hint the hint help, helps you to remember the password so use the tab key if you don't have a mouse so press tab key then when you reach next then click on oh, sorry press enter then this point so here just click on use recommended settings then at this point you have to set your time if your CMOS is faulty then you'll have to reset your time but in my case my CMOS battery is okay so the time is already updated so click on next so guys as you're installing the operating system your computer will be restarting several times and updating the registry files and other files so at this point now have to log in you key in your password so you key in your password then preparing your desktop so the other the other things you should know the same the procedure is still the same windows 8 8.1 8 and 10 so then during installation patient space then remember the boot key and the flash disk and the dvd must be bootable so guys this is now the desktop as you can see we only have the recycle bin so what you have to do you go to the windows.old folder to recover the files.